When I work on bones that I, I do my marks and abstract drawings, in general, I don't have a, any idea what kind of marks I will do. The marks, they come spontaneously, and I really like to let them flow. I study for a long time different Native American cultures, and I saw hundreds of designs, and I was very profoundly engaged with Native American cultures. So all these studies that I did in the past, and all the images that I saw, I think that they are inside myself. All these things that I do, like anybody, they, they become part of your life, and they are inside you. So when I get one of the bones and I start drawing on them, I don't need to think about it. I just let the, the design flow. And whatever, if they are triangles, if they come on lines, if they need to be circles, I just let them come to life. They are already work of art. The shapes are perfect already. They don't need me to be perfect. But I'm just marking on them. I'm just putting my own mark. I'm just putting every mark is an alteration that I'm doing on the bone. And every mark is almost a meditative mark. It's a connection. And it becomes like a dialogue. And I cannot have a better and perfect dialogue with something that nature already created. When I touch them, I really enter in a better place. It's, it's a more profound place where I touch something that it was given to me and nature already created. All my work is connected, and the, the main topic is nature. Uh, everything is in my mind or in my heart, in my, in my soul, in my inner God, is connected. Even if I do a trunk, if I do a bone, or if I tap into an animal image, they are all related. It's like all the variation that nature has. I feel that I create those pieces to feel nature in a different way, to a layer that goes beyond what we see ordinarily, going beyond what we see at that moment, that layer that goes a little bit further. My invitation is to take that time to go beyond what we see at first glance. It's a reminder to me to discover that beyond beauty is we really want to protect that nature that surrounds us. It's really like an iceberg. What I'm saying is just the, the peak of what I believe that I'm doing. I'm sure that there are other things that move me or they propel me to do my, my work. And I'm happy that I don't have all the answers and I don't have all the words to explain what I do because I think that the visual language is a, is a language in itself and it taps into other parts of the human condition. I know part of it, but any person that comes to see the work will discover other things. That's why I'm happy that uh, people are telling me different things about my work. They complete my work by telling me other things that I didn't see. When I touch that natural element and I put whatever I have inside in a format of a drawing, and, and that is the communion and the creation for me.